Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Zero, and welcome back to Lifeless Planet. Previously on Lifeless Planet, we got kind of lost on the Lifeless Planet. And then we went following some glowing green tracks. That looks like that could be a dead end. I should check it out anyway. dealing with. Stops here. Say so went up. And of course that collapsed, so we can't go up there right now. Alright. Let's go. Possibly radioactive rocks. Never that is some kind of new element. Some like chemical stuff to make more hoax. Get some of that super soldier serum going. Super soldier serum gone wrong, obviously. for me. Don't break under me. Oh, we're out. I think. Yep. No problem. No problem. No problem. Let's, let's do this. Don't break my legs. This first area was just a tutorial area. Now they had a little bit of element of, uh, chance of death involved if you screw up your jump. What's that? I only speak English. Hey, come on back. I may be American. Vivid hallucination. Or I'm not alone on this planet. But I don't intend to force feed you hamburgers or anything. I may make you clap. Because that's what we do, but... Oh, ooh, ooh, almost... Fell off there. Несмотря на нерешительность наших ученых, я увеличил выход энергии генераторов тока на 200% без всякого заметного влияния на окружающую среду. Скорость размножения видов, называемых нами зеленый огонь, кажется достаточно высокой. И мы думаем что они также могут служить источником пищи для остальной растительной жизни на планете. Чтобы успокоить моих коллег, я вернул генераторы на нормальный выход тока. Но результат... Я вдруг подумал. Интересно, не является ли обилие энергии само по себе сдерживающим фактором военного конфликта? Опустили бы наши враги свое оружие, если бы узнали, что наши реакторы никогда не отключится. Что осталось бы от их самодовольства, от того, что их флаг находится на Луне, если бы, глядя на Землю, они видели только неугасимый свет могущественного Советского Союза? В сравнении с научным потенциалом, который представлен здесь, ядерное оружие кажется лишь дубинкой дикаря. Все больше наших семей перебирается сюда. Наше общество расцвело настолько, что мы уже можем назвать это место Родиной. Новой Родиной. Наверное, таким же чувством были охвачены великие писатели нашего времени, глядя на свои бессмертные творения. 
истинное совершенство. So they found some kind of green moss. Tried to make energy out of it. Something went wrong. Maybe they really did try to make some kind of super soldier. Hello there. Where are you going? Come on then. You can come on back. There's no reason to be scared. Ugh. See, you've been playing some Assassin's Creed. Seems like we're both in the wrong game. Uh, what can you do? I have a feeling we haven't seen the last of her anyway. something. Blood diamonds. Garnets. Hmm. Oh, it's more platforming. I think the Russians took up these minerals in a way that's convenient for me to hop around with my single jet boost. I hope I'm not going... I'm, like, I hope I'm going the right way. I'm not just... Hello there. Where are you going? Where am I going? I don't think I'm going the right way. Maybe I am. Oh, this is a big drop. Easy does it. Easy. 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 Alright. Am I going that way? I don't think so. I can't make that. Here we go. Going up there, then we gotta cross that bridge. Another building. Oxygen. Oh, jetpack fuel collected. Let's make things a little bit easier. Time for some serious jetpacking. Exciting or easy? Well, you know what to say about Americans. <laughs> oh shit! We fall good. playing. It's going so good, too. Little secret file there.
Jinpigs, woo! You know, I, don't, I think this is a dead end. Yeah, I think that's it's clearly a dead end. Pull some crazy shit of this stuff here. This also means the platforming is only gonna get more annoying. Huh. I don't think I can make that. Oh, it looks like I probably can. Alright then. It's really more of a platforming game in a lot of ways. Makes me kind of miss Conker's Bad Fur Day with its tail gliding. Anyway, we were back on the trail. Following the green road. And that has nothing to do with drugs. I think. Wonderful. Nice. You know, that I think about, that woman we keep seeing doesn't have a mask on or anything. Is her oxygen? Or is she some kind of super mutant? Oh, you reached the bridge anyway. It's gonna be annoying. Okay, don't look down. Don't look down. No, look down. So you can actually see where you're walking. Oh no, I should never look down. <laughs> Alright, look up. I just this just feels a lot worse than looking down. Confirms it. This is not planet Earth. This is like people who say don't look at the uh, the needle or don't look at such and such when it's being worked on you. I I think it always makes things worse. I just have the unknown factor. This takes us. Oh, more, uh, more height walking. Okay. Cool. Fun. I should just call this game a, uh, hope you're not afraid of heights simulator.
Oh, I see how it is. I didn't even build a dam out here. They should have worked fast. Really fast. Perhaps too fast. Dug too deep. Too greedy. Momayo pipes. Let's -a go! to find out the Greek history of the Green Moss. Finally, get to meet our woman. Oh, that's a lot of water here. Hmm. This really is just a platforming game. It's almost nostalgic how platforming it is. They don't make too many of those anymore. There's another little platforming situation. Hopping between the rocks. Hopping between the rocks. We got to keep a hopping bee between the rocks. Hopping between the rocks. We're hopping between the rocks. Dun 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 dun. Giant bell. <laughs> Momo's robotic arm is finally working. Using green fire as a power source. Collected an arm, like just like Metroid. Нам очень повезло, что по прибытию на эту планету здесь уже существовала сеть устройств, способных обеспечить все наши потребности в электроэнергии, невзирая на странность их внешнего вида и строения, которые мы быстро утвердили как нашу собственность. Однако любопытно, что системы управления для запуска этих устройств кажутся предназначенными для очень высоких существ гораздо более высоких, чем человек или что-либо, с чем мы столкнулись здесь с момента нашего прибытия. Несмотря на это, наши отличные инженеры быстро придумали оригинальное техническое решение. При помощи этой механической руки мы в состоянии добраться до самых высоких мест, что дает нам возможность приводить в действие нужные устройства. И все же причина такой высоты этих систем управления остается загадкой. Были ли другие гости на этой планете еще до нас? Или, может, здесь существуют и другие формы жизни, помимо сугубо растительной? 
Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, ancient aliens. And it looks like we're gonna have arm puzzles combined with the platforming. Seems that way. Ancient alien structures. This structure appears to draw power from that green rock. Waiting. I can kind of see the the green power going between the wires, I guess. If that's what that is. Let's give some more explanation of how the Russians built up so damn fast. Infrastructure is already here for the most part. Please do not break under me. Should I touch it? Can't resist. Green glow. Must absorb your green powers. Oh my god. What am I doing? That's forward and backward. Alright, we have this thing here. Suppose I'm put, supposed to put you in there. There we go. Simple enough. Now we just wait for the elevator. Waiting for the elevator. Waiting for the elevator. We've got nothing to do, but just keep waiting on the elevator. Waiting on the elevator. We're waiting on the elevator. Oh boy. Let's do this fast. Getting in that way. Just use this stereotypical looking dynamite. Fire in the hole! Fire in the hole! Oh, 
Oh boy. Have to wait for some more elevators. Uh, 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 uh. Staying alive. There's something odd about that storm. I ain't no storm. It's a plague. A plague of darkness to, to send over our dark hearts. I mean, our light hearts to make them dark. There's something. Original poetry written by Spaceboard 20XX. A storm is coming. Hello there. You don't look quite. Russian belt, do you? I guess I'm pushing buttons, huh? Puzzle going on here. There we go. So that explains what they meant about the things being too tall to operate. Mm -hmm. They haven't used that loading screen in a while. Curious. Hey, get away from him. It's an American astronaut. You know, actually, I noticed something real quick in that cutscene, is that this game has reflections on the visor, which is actually pretty rare for games nowadays. Both my crewmates are now confirmed dead. It seems this planet is not lifeless after all. A deadly life form lingers below the surface of the planet. The woman seems to avoid their trap somehow. I will try to use this to my advantage, following her tracks as best as possible. So that's it for part two of the Lifeless Planet. We're dealing with some ancient aliens here. I don't know if this girl is an ancient alien or if she's some Russian that's been experimented on, but we'll find out. And it definitely seems like the plants don't seem to like us, so it seems like that's the main alien threat here. So we'll see what's gonna go down in the next area. Anyway, so thank you all for watching and stay tuned for part three of Lifeless Planet.